Hello guys, this is Paul. For this video, I'll be showing you how to use my newest asset on the asset store, Celeron. Now Celeron is a powerful tool that lets you adjust the speed of your game at real time. First, let's take care of a couple issues that happen when you try to test the game. Over here, the color scheme doesn't uh, change with a play mode tint. You can change that by going to edit preferences, colors, and over there under general there's play mode tint. You just click on that and set it to white which is 255 by 255 by 255 by 255 RGBA. You just close that and then you close the window and then here you see that the editor doesn't change the color scheme when you play the game. Onto Celeron. Over here, you see uh, a two timers. It would appear to be two timers on the upper right hand side of Celeron. The green timer represents the amount of seconds that pass when you play the game. When you play the game, it shows just how much time has passed. The same can be said about the red timer. The red timer, however, actually um, adjusts itself based on the speed of the game. So when Celeron uh, speeds the game up like by a factor of two, that also doubles the rate at which this increases. So it kind of speeds up the timer as well, the red timer. The green timer doesn't change, but the red timer um, speeds up or slows down according to the Celeron speed. So let's take a look at that. Now here's a weird thing, the audio is still playing even when the game's paused or even when it's speeding up, like it still plays the same sound. If you want audio sources to be affected by the change in speed, you can just go here, um, select the audio source under affected audio sources. You can, you can click this button to clear your audio sources. But for now, let's choose this. Over here, you can set the slider to kind of set what the default pitch is for all the affected audio sources. So let's say, for example, the default pitch is 1.7. When we play it, it automatically goes at that frequency, at that pitch. So let's maybe set it a little lower. And then the in-game pitch is basically the default pitch multiplied by um, the speed of the game. So 100 is 100%. So 1.5 times 100% is 1.5. See that as I change the speed, the pitch also as well. When I slow down the game, it also changes the pitch. It makes it the frequency by a significant amount and then when it's zero you don't hear anything at all. You can also if you want to do it in increments if you want to change the speed in increments you can also use these buttons over here. You can set it to minimum, you can set it to the default speed or you can also change it to the maximum. You don't have to just slide it all the way there to get to that to that to get to that um, speed. Now you might say, "Oh, I don't want to have just 500 um, percent speed. I want to have 10 when like I want to have 10 times the speed." Well, you can actually change that here as well. You can set the value to 1,000, 
which is which is essentially uh, multiplying the default speed by 10 and let's see how fast it goes now you see it's going really really fast now you can see it over here and you, can see it. you can see the driver moving really fast at that speed and the pitch is really really high as well so yep and also these buttons in between they're they're kind of like transitional points transitional increments from a default speed to the maximum speed if you change this to 200 it's going to adjust accordingly see if you change this to 200 and change this to 100 it adjusts the speed accordingly all right So that's how you edit it. Now the minimum speed, same thing. It's like 0, 30, 367 to 100. Those are the increment points. And you can also set that here. You can click on them. It kind of transitions it towards that point. Now the only values you can't change are the one the transitional increments. Those are the only values you can't change, see? The minimum value, the default value, and the maximum value are the ones that you can change. So Celeron is really, really powerful for when you're trying to have cutscenes that you want to speed up in your game. Or when there's a particular area in your game that you want to see in a whole new um accelerated perspective. Celeron is here as an asset to accelerate your vision. Celeron wants you to save time. It wants you to have convenience. It wants it wants you to skip the hassle of having to go through every single cutscene, every single dialogue. Now you can just speed it up. You can select the audio sources so you might have a dialogue that you want to speed up as well as a cutscene. And it speeds it up and it doesn't have and it also like speeds up all the other objects in your game so maybe if you want a fast paced game you can use Celeron as well you can use it for power ups that maybe slow down time or speed it up so i hope you got a good sense as to what Celeron is capable of this driving scene is available to you for free um, along with the Celeron asset. So you can definitely use this to try and maybe create your own kind of driving game or maybe create your own kind of animation scene. The driving, the driving animation is already provided for you so you can take a look at that as well. And also like the top view, how it also gave you another camera that you can just pan there so yeah I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you find my Celeron asset to be incredibly useful for your game project thanks again and this is Paul saying goodbye